Hello, everybody. Good morning or afternoon or evening, whatever time you are watching this. I'm so glad you chose to click on my picture and watch this video. Um, so I've kind of stopped doing the calendar only because I think some people are watching my videos um, not the day that they come out. So it could be a little confusing um, with the date and the calendar and all of that. But um, I think you guys have the calendar down pretty well. Um, with that being said, we are going to do an activity today with coins. So coins are something we really didn't get to um, talk about or play with that much at school this year and um, it is really really important that you learn about coins. So today we are going to do some work and play with coins. So I have my change jar. We have a little change jar that we sit on a little table that is right by our door so like whenever we come in we put any change in our pockets or we put our keys in here too so sometimes it, we forget that there's change in here at the bottom but we have a change jar and um i know a lot of families have a change jar so if you have a change jar at home you can find yours and we are going to do an activity with the change jar um, so here i am on my Floor again and um, we are gonna do a little sorting activity with the coins that you find in the coin jar um, so in my coin I have a lot of different types of coins and honestly one of the hardest parts about counting coins or using them in any way is it's really hard to tell the difference between some of the silver coins um, so I want you to just take some time and get used to sort. So here I am on my floor again, and um, we are going to do a little sorting activity with the coins that you find in the coin jar. Um, so in my coin, I have a lot of different types of coins, and honestly, one of the hardest parts about counting coins or using them in any way is... It's really hard to tell the difference between some of the silver coins. Um, so I want you to just take some time and get used to sorting them and putting them in different piles. And just like that, I sorted my coins into four piles. So now that you've sorted out your coins into the four different types, I want to show you some things that I noticed whenever I was sorting mine. And I wonder if you noticed the same thing. The first thing I noticed was um, all of my coins had a side on them that had someone's face. Hey, so who are these people? Do you think it's just somebody random or what do you, do you think that they're probably, I don't know, somebody's brother or sister or, hmm, I'm curious. Maybe they made some sort of big contribution to our country, which is usually, it's usually what it is. So in every country in the world, usually, I think, I don't know for sure, but they put faces of really important people on their money. So let's. Let's look at the people um, and talk about the people who are on our coins. So the first coin we're going to talk about is my favorite coin, and it is the quarter. And the quarter looks like this. And the person who is on this quarter is George Washington. And George Washington was the very first president of the United States. So Donald Trump, who is our president right now, he is the 46th president that we've had in our country. So if you think back about how long ago George Washington, he was the very 
first president. That was a long time ago. So he's a very important person in our country's history. The next coin we are going to talk about is the dime. And the dime is a very, very small coin. It's the smallest coin. And the president who is on this is Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And people just used to call him FDR for short. And I did some research online, and the reason he was chosen to be put on the dimes is because this president, he had a disease called polio. And he it just made his legs really, really, really weak. And he uh, either started or donated a lot of money to an organization called March of Dimes. And um, so that's why they chose him to be on the dime. March of Dimes. And his name is FDR. Now when you look on the back, and you can see the olive branch. And the olive branch is a symbol of peace. And the torch in the middle is a symbol of uh, liberty. So I think of like the Statue of Liberty, how she holds a torch. And all the way on the other side is an oak. So oak, an oak branch. Oaks are really, really strong trees. So that is a symbol of strength. So the next coin we are going to talk about is this one. This coin is called a nickel. And this coin has Thomas Jefferson on it. He was our third president. And the reason they chose him to be on the coin is because he helped develop our money system. So here's Thomas Jefferson on the front. And then on the back is his home. And whoop. And it is called Monticello. And our penny, we have President Abraham Lincoln on the front. And he's a very, very important president in our country. And um, he was a very honest, honest person. And he was known for just having a good moral character. And on the back, we have a picture of the Lincoln Memorial. Lincoln Memorial is in Washington, D.C., and we learned a little bit about Abraham Lincoln at school, um, and we also learned about the Lincoln Memorial, so he is on the penny, and there's actually a new penny, so like you can tell this one's a little bit shinier and a little bit newer, and this is what the back of it looks like, so I wonder what type of penny you have. Do you have the Lincoln Memorial, or do you have this one with a shield? So today, I really want to talk to you about my favorite coin. And my favorite coin is the quarter. It's the biggest coin, which is one reason why it's my favorite. And the second reason it's my favorite is because when I was a kid, well, maybe not a kid, maybe like middle school, high school, they, the Mint decided to ask all of the states in our country to create a design for the back of the quarter. So if you look at the back of the quarter, they might all look a little different. And if you see um, this back, and you can see the state kind of written up at the top, and that tells you where the state is from. So today, your job is to look at the back of your coins, of your quarters, and see which states you found. It's they're really, really fun to look at. And maybe your parents can pull up a map of the United States and show you where each of those states are. I wanted to show you a map of the United States and show you some of the little quarters that I have in my collection at home and show you where they are on our map of the United States. And hopefully you can do this with the quarters that you have in your home with your collection. Let, let's start out with finding where we live on the map of the United States. Um, so we live in Oklahoma and here is Oklahoma right here. I'm going to draw 
a heart around it because we love Oklahoma. And I just love our state for many reasons, but for one of the reasons is because of the shape of our state. It's so cool. Like we could just have a, a square shape or like a rectangle shape, but we don't. We have a cool, funky shape and I like it. My first quarter from my collection is from South Dakota and I'll put a picture of it here. And let's find South Dakota on our map. It is right here. So South Dakota is just a little bit north of Oklahoma. The next quarter that I have is from Rhode Island. And Rhode Island is this tiny little state right here. My dad used to live in Rhode Island. And the next state I have is Delaware. Delaware is also on the East Coast, and it is also a small state. So let's circle it. It's this little pink one here, Delaware. The next quarter I have is from Florida. Some people like to go to Florida because there are sandy beaches there, and they are really pretty. So, and I have a friend who lives in Florida. So let's circle Florida. It's down here. The next state is Nevada. Nevada is closer to the west coast. Here is Nevada. There are lots of really beautiful things out in Nevada. I want to visit there sometime. Um, the next coin is from Montana. Montana is a very big state and they have lots and lots of mountains too and I would love to visit. Here is Montana right here. Never been to Montana. The next quarter that I have is from New Mexico and this looks like their state symbol. I think they have a really cool state symbol and here is New Mexico. Ooh, that one's really close to Oklahoma, isn't it? It's just right next door. We're neighbors. The next one is Ohio. On the back of Ohio, it says it's the birthplace of aviation pioneers. So I guess that means that's where the people who invented like how to fly where they live, that's aviation. So Ohio is here. Our next quarter is from Maine. Yeah, is from Maine. Maine is a state in the North East part of our country. And it looks like this has like a big light house and some uh, sailboats. It's really, really pretty. Maine is way up here in the northeast corner of the country. This is my last, last quarter. It is from Idaho. Now this one looks so beautiful. It says there's a river of no return and it's the wilderness. And it kind of looks to me like maybe that is like a canoe going down a river in a mountain. My kind of place. So Idaho is all the way over here. Idaho. I've always wanted to visit Idaho and Montana. I just want to visit everywhere. <laughs> all right, guys, I hope you thought this was fun. I think it's kind of interesting to see all the different states and the different uh, pictures that they chose to put on the back of their quarter. So I hope you guys can look at some quarters and find the different states that they come from and hopefully find them on the map. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.